Hey guys, Thunder Set here, and today we are finally getting to Mech Lords. Sorry, Mech Knights. Mech Lords are the other machines. These are psychic monsters. Took me so long because I didn't really have a full set. From the latest box, I really just got Ancient Gear and Infernoid and was super happy with that. I'm still super happy with those archetypes. But uh, I, d I honestly didn't think Mech Lords would be, or me I keep calling them Mech Lords, Mech Knights would be too strong. Because we did have a few in the game already with Yellow Star and Gold. But uh, it, it turns out to be really strong, crazy strong, especially with these... Uh, trap or spell cards which means this deck's actually pretty accessible i don't have an optimal place that i only have three purple nightfall you'd want four i didn't think you'd be or four you want three but i didn't think you'd be able to play with two but you could probably even play with just one thanks to world legacy's memory it's a quick play special summon a mech knight from your hand or deck in defense position return it to your hand in the end phase but with purple knight's own effect you can target a mech knight monster you control banish it it can even be this one during the standby of your next turn and you can add a monster or a mech knight monster from your deck to your hand then you get the monster back you don't have to return it to the hand it goes back to the field tons of combos with this unlike all mech knights if two or more cards are in the same column then you get to special summon them here yellow star will destroy a spell or trap Indigo Eclipse will move a monster. That's his second effect. I don't know. Red Moon's second effect. Banish a Mech Knight from your monster. Target a face-up monster in this column and destroy it. I actually do use that effect. Uh, this I got from the KC Cup, seeing people's deck. It's really just its own little engine of Swap Cleric here. You use him to Link Summon Link Disciple. And you draw a card and you have a free monster in a column from your normal summon. You're still able to special summon all of these crazy mech knights. Now mech knight does have a little normal mech knight. You need a bunch of them so you can discard. Um, you're going to be discarding with this brand new ultra rare mech knight of the morning star. You link summon him. Then you can discard a world legacy or mech knight. And you can search the spells. It's so good because they have very good one of spells like world legacy secret. Would target a level 5 or higher monster in graveyard, special summon it, negate any opponent's monster's effect that activate in the same column as a mech knight monster you control. Very strong, so uh, crazy that you're able to search these. You can also search world legacy key, which will target a banished uh, mech knight, add it to the hand, and negate any traps that are in the same column as a mech knight. So uh, last but not least, we have blue sky who will search i believe yeah add mech knight monsters with different names except himself equal to the number of your opponent's cards in this column so you could even get a double search i've done it with him before crazy deck very 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 strong deck and this is the second time now in one box i'm unironically using middle age mechs never in my life would i thought this skill would make such a comeback but here it is i've been using it so uh other than that, the only really important part is the extra deck. You get XZs off with your Galaxy Eyes, since we do have a few level 8s. This boy's cord is searching your Spell or Traps. This goes with the Swap Cleric for a plus 1. Uh, we have this boy we don't usually get out. And then Brute Enforcer, who's... If you're using Brute Enforcer, the duel's probably not going well. So, other than that, hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are facing a Jade, and we're going second. Middle Age Max going second is pretty unfair because even if he just plays one card, we're gonna be able to stack on it and get summoning. So he's gonna bring out Blaze Man. Go straight into a Poly. Goes with Hero Sunrise. Sets a back row. So we have two here. Middle Age Max, we could have put with Sun, we should have put with Sunrise. We're going with Swap Clerk, Special Summon Nightfall, real quick there. We go with Link Disciple, that's gonna be a plus one. And we're gonna go with Memory to this spot. That's two level eights. Now we can set Compulsory. We banish and get a search. That's gonna bring our level seven. Where am I going with this, guys? And then we're going with two Links. 
So I'm not going right into the XCs. We have even further plays. We're gonna get another search. We go with the Morning Star, brand new Morning Star. Discard. Now we have key. Now we're gonna be able to negate those traps. We use key, we get our eclipse right back after the search. Eclipse is right back out. Look at this. We're gonna swing over that monster. He's gonna destroy us with sunrise. I wanted to see how eclipse would interact with that. Didn't stop it, but we're still able to get rid of that one monster. So he's gonna use his favorite duel. It's such an OP skill. It's gonna give him a miracle fusion. Goes with the first one. Playing Wingman. Gets his own cutscene, one of the older cutscenes, believe it or not. Even though this skill is not that old. Here he comes. Now, Favorite Duel will actually let you get a Skyscraper at the same time, so that's exactly what he does. We're going to Evacuation, his Sunrise, and we're gonna move in to go over here. He tries to destroy my Mech Knight. Not sure why. But, as you'll know, if your Mech Knight monster battles another monster in a column different than it, your monster cannot be destroyed, also you take no damage. So his column is different, he cannot destroy us. He had to destroy forward, didn't destroy forward, which kind of slowed us down a little because I needed that slot. But we're still going to misplay here. Uh, I accidentally used Cypher Dragon's effect, it is not a pop. Should just use the pop to pop Skyscraper, we would have had enough lethal damage. But now, I accidentally used the Cypher so we can't even attack. And uh, we, we do pop the Skyscraper, we're still not in really that much danger. Here he's gonna be able to Favorite Duel again! Another Miracle Fusion, how crazy is this skill? But, thankfully, he doesn't have another Sunrise, he's gotta go with Flare Wingman. Swings over my tiniest boy, and hits me for a little more damage. But, we survive. We get a memory, we just gotta get a Mech Lord in Mech Knights in this spot to negate the traps, pop the boy, and swing for 4k. Great, great stuff, guys. Here we are facing a Duke Devlin. I don't even remember playing a Duke Devlin, that's pretty rare. 24 cards, he's Orgarth too, how do I not remember this duel? I love this deck. Super fun skills for Olgarth. Olgarth? What? Or goth. So we put our Ancient Gear Castle here. We misplay, okay? I could have put Legacy Key, then we could have negated this trap, I'm assuming, unless he could have Ultimate Providence my spell. But uh, misplay. Big misplay there. So we gotta just survive with our memory intact. Nightfall's gonna banish himself. We get Red Moon, Normal Summon, swing over that monster. Now we gotta just endure this Blue Eyes with Abram. He's ready to check this out. And that's what it says on his, uh, I don't think you guys can see it. Check this out, you see that thing? But uh, here's the Blue Eyes, he's going into a Spirit Dragon with another Stone of Ancient, destroys poor Abram. But not really a huge, huge turn. So his Blue Eyes Orgard. Very interesting. I bet he has a Montage Dragon. I bet that deck's pretty dope. So we get to Special Summon Blue Sky. Purple Nightfall comes back from his own effect. We get a plus one of Indigo Eclipse. All we had to do was set our Compulsory. Then we're able to Special Summon him right to the middle zone. And that's going to give us a Cypher Dragon. Now Cypher Dragon's going to turn into full armor. But first... We're gonna use the Red Moon. We bring out the Red Moon in front of the Blue Eyes. That means we can use his effect to pop the Blue Eyes. Now we go with the Armored Dragon. And that is going to be more than enough for lethal as we just gotta clear this Synchro Monster out of the way with our Superior XZ's monster. And then the Mech Knights come in for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. All right, here we are facing a Jack Atlas. They get crazy with the new monster zones. They're able to really spread their legs out. So we got our continuous key. We have an evacuation unit, purple nightfall, and yellow star. He's gonna do a lot of stuff. 
I'm not particularly gonna tell you what he's doing. He's gonna special summon a lot of resonators. Special summon a lot of synchros. Or go special summon even more resonators. And then just go on from there. So, uh, should be plenty of monsters on the field for us to work with. And with Middle Age mechs, we're gonna be able to choose our spot for our spell. So we're gonna really be able to just special summon all over this board. We're gonna have three spell cards. He's got four monsters in a game of Duel Links. Never thought you'd see the day. All we gotta do is put Middle Age mechs there. We can special summon across the whole board now and we get enough monsters to do it. We go Purple Nightfall, we go Yellow Star. We're gonna use our Legacy Key so I could use Yellow Star to pop that back row, but it's not a trap. It's a Mystical Space Typhoon and destroys us anyway. Unfortunate, we're not the end of the world. Now we get to bring out Red Moon. It's going great. We're gonna banish Red Moon to bring out Indigo Eclipse. Now we're gonna be able to bring out Indigo Eclipse. We're summoning like every monster this turn. We go with our Cypher Dragon. Now he's got 6k life though, so that's not anything to sneeze at. That's gonna be pretty tough to get over. But well, we're starting, we're going with our fo Oh, this guy times me out too anyway, now that I remember. Clear this whole field. They always have a comeback play. But don't forget we have the almighty compulsory evacuation device. The best trap card in the game. You just have to wait. For a good chance to disrupt. I think I choose right here, Red Rising. Probably a little safer to wait for his biggest monster, but uh, I wasn't ready for more Resonator action, so we go, and then he times me out and disconnects me out of pure spite, but uh, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going first. 30 cards over there. We're starting with our World Legacy Secret. Don't even have to search it. Usually you're gonna have to search it. We have a hand that could search it with, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a normal summon of Abram. And a special summon of Nightfall. Here we're gonna use the Nightfall search for an Eclipse. We get rid of our Memory Monster. But, let's say we didn't have World Legacy Secret. We could've gone with the New Link Monster, discarded one of these monsters, and searched our Trap card. Now we use our trap card. We go boom boom. We're going to bring out Morning Star. Now I think Morning Star. Discard. You can only use the effect of Mech Knight Morning Star. Something negates our effect. We come through here. I can't use uh, Photon Full Armor's effect. Here we also could have. Uh, I didn't play World Legacy Key to negate a trap because I was getting mad delay from it somehow. And, uh, or no, this I think was a re this was a misplay. We could have put it down there. But uh, we go with Purple Knight. Now something's, something's stopping me from using full armor. I don't know if it's Morningstar. It, because this clearly says your opponent's effects. But, uh, it's, I'm sure it's something simple I'm overlooking. So we're slowly swinging at him. Goes through here. Purple Nightfall will banish our Link Monster. This way we get an Eclipse. Eclipse can hop out because we have two in that row. Bacon Saver. So it's really just stalling us with this 30 card deck. Nothing to be too afraid of. Throw that boy to the graveyard because I guess they don't let us bring Link Monsters back with that... Uh, Purple Nightfall, he Bacon Savers, the Econ does all that wacky stuff. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a shark. I think I accidentally time out in this duel, but I think we do make some good plays. We're going first. We have Blue Sky and Purple Nightfall. We got a memory. We get to choose where our Ancient Gear Castle goes. We use memory. That's purple. Purple's gonna banish himself. Add yellow. So now we have purple, yellow, and blue. We got a set of Fiendish Chain. He's got a Cosmic Cyclone, our Fiendish Chain. So much for that. He's got an Atlantean Marksman. He's got a Silent Angler. He's gonna make them level 4. Bahamut Shark. He's gonna special summon another shark. Or a ray. Or no. Yeah. A shark then a ray. And then he doesn't even attack. No idea why. Maybe he couldn't. 
you go purple nightfall he banished himself so he gets to come right back we got another memory look how good that is we get abram our normal monster and we normal summon a blue sky you believe that you still get his search when you normal summon him we're gonna search indigo eclipse but first we're gonna xyz why am i gonna xyz these two strong monsters we're gonna bring out mech knight of the morning star he's gonna be able to discard we're gonna be able to search we're gonna search world legacy key because we're trying to finish this duel here on this turn and we need another card to be in a column we could have been the trap card we could have set our trap card or we could have banished our boy and gone from there but we're still able to get a few monsters out i just uh accidentally had to uh time limit there because i'm trying to play a word get a lot done but I think we had it. We had our two level 8s on the field. So we were going to do all our XZs. We are going to crush his field. Uh, not quite have lethal. We were going to be like 100 points from lethal. Probably still technically had a path to lose that duel. But I don't think it was going to happen at all. So uh, we'll finish there. I don't think I showed what you're trying to do most of the time. Because you want to consistently search your trap. So you're really negating effects. But uh, there's a lot you can do with this. You can just swing with it. There, it's a very strong deck. I can see how it's already on the limit. Konami probably thought this would be able to keep Salaman Great in check. Obviously, it did not. But now this this deck's gonna run wild with Salaman Great getting stopped. Salaman Great's still gonna be around, as not as I want to admit it. But uh, I don't think this limit's gonna slow them down all too much. People already like mixing Salaman Great other stuff so i think they're still gonna be around but uh mech knights were honestly really cool and surprisingly accessible so if you don't have a bunch of the ultra rares like i did you can uh, still play so even with just one of each the link monster and the purple nightfall hope you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching